Today, I want to show you a really powerful modeling tool within Blender that you might not have come across and it is useful in very specific cases. And I will show you a couple examples later. And the tool I'm talking about is ripping, ripping off different parts of the mesh. Let me show you how it works. So I'm just going to add a cube, going to edit mode, and I will select one vertex. And now in order to rip off that one vertex, you have to press V. You can see it in the bottom, bottom left corner. So if I press V, you can see it splits off this one vertex and it keeps everything else in position. It's just that one vertex. Now I can move this around. And then if I want to confirm the new location, I can just left click and it's there. Or if you want to snap it back to position, you just right click. What's very important to note about ripping is that it's based on the position of your cursor. So if I place my cursor on this face, you can see that it rips off in this direction. But if I put it here on this top face, then it rips off in this direction. And that is really, really useful and will come to use cases a bit later. Another thing that's important to note is you cannot rip off everything. So if I select the vertex diagonally across on the same face, it's going to give me an error message. Cannot rip multiple disconnected vertices. That doesn't work. What you can do though is rip off edges. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. Faces can't be ripped off either. We'll also show you cannot rip selected faces. That does not work. But what you can use instead is if you press Y, it's going to disconnect this area and then you can just grab it with G. Y does work with everything. So if I just select this vertex here, press Y, then it will create a duplicate here, not affecting the mesh at all. And that also works here with the edge. That's just do not on top. If you want to rip off a face, then use Y instead. Now, one very specific use case that I found is if you want to model a kind of tail with this, then I can show you how to do this. So I'm just going to prepare a little mesh here. Um, maybe give it a little curvature. So a different profile. Yeah, just like that. I will add a couple more loop cuts. Maybe round these out. Here. Let's do it like this. And now I will select every other vertex except for the ends and just going to move these in this direction. And this is not perfect. Um, let me maybe merge that together and merge as well. Here, let's do it like this. Now, if I select these here, there's another hidden secret within the ripping tool. If you press Alt V instead of just V, and it's not going to only rip the face, but it will connect the ripped part again. This is something I've learned from Rain Hat, and I'm going to link her channel down in the video description, as well as in a little info card in the upper right corner. Please check out her channel. She is absolutely cute, absolutely amazing, and has a wonderful series on character creation within Blender. And what I've learned just by watching that is the Alt V technique. So if you press Alt V, as you can see, it does rip off the edges, but it will also connect it with new faces. And I can move this around, it will look real weird. But if I now right click and then use Alt S to scale it, as you can see, it looks much more like a tail already. It's not perfect and you might have to work around with it a little bit to make it for your case, but this is what I found it really useful for. And notice that here as well, it is important that you place the cursor correctly. If you place the cursor here in the center, then you can see that it rips off weirdly and will end up looking weird. Make sure that it's on either side and then you just scale it accordingly. Either making it bigger or smaller. And another place where I use this is I've been working on a building and I use this to model these kind of roof tiles here. I did end up merging parts of it again, but just like being able to extrude it and having it connect already. Super, super useful. Can 100% recommend you to use it as well. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out Rainhead. Again, link is in the description. And thank you very much for 300 subscribers. We're growing incredibly fast. I really like it. Speaking of which, if you are not subscribed yet, then please do so in order to get all new video releases, which happen on a very irregular basis. I'm sorry. I have a lot to do. Thank you for your patience. If you want to interact with me more, then 
can either leave a comment i'm making sure to react to all of them or you may want to join the discord where it's a lovely community we share art with each other hang out and have lots of fun you might also be able to catch me live on twitch every now and then and also other social media is all linked down in the description thank you for checking out i wish you a lovely new year take care and see you in the next video bye bye